which wide receivers have the most questions or concerns? And this can be clearly based on cost because you could sit here and talk about a wide receiver in tier six, and of course they have questions, but maybe some guys towards the top or in the middle that you look at and go, man, there is some risk where he's going off the board. Yeah, I mean, I think we've, I think we've, talked, about, uh, I think we've talked about some of these guys, right? I mean, um, uh, Drake London is one of them, right? right? You know, is there going to be enough passing volume for Drake London, you know, in that offense, especially now that Bijan's there and we expect him to be involved in the passing game? Mike Evans. You know, like, is Mike Evans who, um, is he going to get enough passing volume and, you know, is Baker going to be able to get him, get him the ball, right? I mean, we, I, I'm in on Michael Pittman, but he's certainly somebody that you have a question mark about, about Michael Pittman. Um, Cooper Cup, right? And we just talked about that. Can he, you know, can he stay healthy, right? Can his quarterback. And, right. Can, he, can his quarterback stay healthy as well? Again, like, like I, I would have no concerns about Cooper Cup if he hadn't gotten injured this preseason. But then he gets injured with this preseason. Like, you know, I, I, mean, I think there's, you know. Um, Calvin Ridley? You know, Calvin Ridley's massive questions about him. Like, again, we just haven't seen the guy. Like, honestly, and I think you could argue somewhat on Amari Cooper because we just don't know with, uh, with Deshaun Watson. Like, yep. you know, I mean, I think the questions isn't necessarily Cooper's talent, but it's about his quarterback. If, if Deshaun Watson is the Deshaun Watson from the last five games of last year, like, you feel yeah. a lot worse about Amari Cooper this season. What about you, Jay? Anybody stick out that you kind of go, hey, I, I just don't like him at that ADP because of the quarterback or because of the health concerns or maybe even just the offense? Uh, one guy who I think me and Matthew are on opposite sides on is I'm a little bit worried about DeAndre Hopkins. And it's not like he's going super high, but just between, you know, he's older, he's on a new team, that offensive line is a mess. And I wouldn't be shocked if Will Levis or Malik Willis is in there at some point just because Tannehill gets hurt, it seems like, every year. And he's behind the, the worst offensive line in football, arguably. Uh, and also, obviously, Derrick Henry is going to get a ton of work. So I just I don't feel great about DeAndre Hopkins just with all those things swirling. Uh, but Ridley, to me, is, is a really interesting one because last time he was fully fit, he was wide receiver five. Uh, that was also in 2020. Uh, which is three years yeah. ago uh, by my math. So he is someone who, he has been rocketing up draft boards in terms of ADP all, all off season. I think now we're at the point where I, I don't think he's a value where he's going as wide receiver 16 going in the mid thirties. I think it's probably, I don't think that's, that's absurdly overvalued, but I'm not coming out of many drafts with Calvin Ridley at this point. Yeah, the, uh, to me, the two other questions aren't necessarily player based, but really like sort of who is the guy based, which is like, we know there's going to be a very good fantasy wide receiver on Baltimore. We just, we're just not right. sure who it's going to be. We know there's going to be a really good fantasy wide receiver in Kansas City. We're just not sure who it's going to be. Like, I think it's going to be Sky Moore, and I've, I've said I'm placing my bets with Rashad Bateman in Baltimore, but like, it wouldn't shock me if the leading receiver there is Beckham or Zay Flowers, or in Kansas City if it's MVS or Rasheed Rice or Kadarius Toney. You know, like, there's, obviously it's going to be Kelsey, but like, there will be a productive fantasy wide receiver on the Chiefs offense on the Ravens offense and we're just not sure who those guys are and then also same with same with Seattle on some level like we like we like Lockett we think he's underrated Metcalf is Metcalf but what does JSN do to that offense and so uh, you know I think there's some questions there as well last one I'll say is uh is Pittsburgh where we're all projecting a leap forward from Kenny Pickett and that yep. he will be able to support uh Deontay Johnson and George Pickens and Pat Frymouth uh all being fantasy viable but like we still have to see it from Kenny Pickett because even though he showed a lot of good signs towards the end of last year it's not like he was putting up absurd volume he wasn't passing for 350 yards a game or anything like that that's a projection forward based on how young he is and what he's shown but we still haven't seen it yet hey it's Matthew Barry from NBC Sports and Rotoworld.com just want to thank you so much for watching what you just watched or at least being too lazy to click out of it after the you know, autoplay just kept it going. So either way, thank you so much for just letting it scroll by your screen. And now I'd like to ask you respectfully, 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 okay, respectfully, please subscribe to the NFL on NBC YouTube channel for the latest NFL news, fantasy headlines from Rotor World, and betting analysis from NBC Sports Edge.